Hey guys, what's happening? It's Junaid here again. And in this video, I want to walk you through how I created the reaction video setup so that you can create your own reaction video. For this thing, I'm using Ecamm Live. And these are the two scenes that you saw in the previous. So this is one scene, meaning full on video. And this is a second scene where you see my video here and then the YouTube video on this side where I can control the YouTube browser back here. Stick around and I'll walk you through exactly how I did it. We're using Ecamm Live, and I'm using the demo mode so I can show you exactly what I've done. Now, when you install Ecamm Live, you have the main window, then you have the other panels, the scenes panel. This is the scenes panel, and you can see the two different scenes, the first one and the second one, which show you both of the elements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a duplicate of this scene, Actually, I'm going to create a brand new scene right here. So click on this plus icon down here. The other thing I want to make sure that we also have turned on is the sound levels panel because we want to bring in the audio that's coming through the video that we're watching into the show. So I'm going to create a new scene. Once I've created a new scene, you can see here, new scene, and I can just name it shared. And once I've done that, I can either choose to show you the scene of my video and then this little panel right here lets you select which application you want to show. So I'm going to switch to Safari. So then you can see the Safari window. Now this one is the simplest way where you click on share screen mode, choose which window you want to show, and then your video will be on the side over here. So as I'm interacting with the video, it might block portions of the video. So how do you solve it? There's something called uh, a blank scene. So under the scene section, I'm going to choose a blank scene, which is going to give me a fully blank scene. And then what I've done is we're looking into the overlays panel and we're going to bring in two elements in here. So I want to bring in the share, the new camera overlay window. So this is my camera overlay. As you can see, it has these dimensions already, which it uh, took from previous. And to simply change that, I can click on this little icon over here. Let's bring it over here so I can, you can see better. Video source is my Blackmagic camera. My shape is custom because I wanted to resize it, but you can, of course, choose any shape that you want, square, circle, or a tall one. It's what the one I chose because I want to give more space for the other video that I'm sharing. Next thing that Dell did is I added a border so I can choose the border, how big or small I want the border to be. So I had a border weight with a four. Then I've got a corner radius so I can have square corners or I can have rounded corners here. So I just had that set to 30. The reason I want to make sure that I know these numbers is because I want to match them when I bring in the video format here. The rest of the stuff down here, I'm not really messing with. These are options for you to play around with. So I'm going to enable this back panel video so that you see my video on top of it. And then I'll click on this again. I can even bring in the little shadow on the back of it. Lots of different things that you can play with. And then I place my video over here. The cool thing is you can also move your video around and see where it locks in. Here's the center of the video. The next thing I brought in is this little computer screen which says new screen overlay so you'll see that it's showing me the entire desktop screen my main primary screen but i'm not interested in that one i'm interested in my secondary screen which has the safari window so i'm going to click on show safari and then the layout of the screen is based off of that primary window the primary desk display i can say hey choose a secondary desktop display perspective and then I can resize this window to where I want it. Now, if it's not fitting or how you want it, you can always press down on the option key on your keyboard and go up or down. This is going to crop this screen. So I think what I had done is I also set this to custom. So then I can press option, crop in over here, press option, crop into over here, and then resize it to get EV. Now, the cool part, this is the simplest setup that I could think of. And I just, you can do so much more things with this. Like for example, I can bring in some text. Here's some text, a panel that I can brought that brought in. This can enable you to 
talk about what video you're showing and how you set up uh, a reaction video setup. And all I'm doing then is basically going back and forth between these two scenes. You can simply press Command 1 and Command 2 on your keyboard while Ecamm Live is selected and you can switch between the two scenes just like I'm showing you. So that's it on how I set up my reaction video setup so then I can talk through it. I can also uh, interact with the Safari window by click on the play button over here. I can drag progress bar window over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.